Vibe coding on tools such as Replit, Lovable, and Bolt is amazing. But what if you didn't want to use the AI model that they abstract from you under the hood? What if you want to use something like Gemini 2.5? That's where Bolt DIY comes in, a locally run vibe coding tool. But we're going to go a step further in this tutorial. It's also run the model locally using Olama. That way, everything is done on your machine and you have total control of whatever's going on here. So real amazing flexibility using Bolt DIY and Olama. But it's worth saying that after many hours of banging my head against the wall, this doesn't work in Firefox. Make sure you use Chrome as your browser, which probably you are anyway, or Arc or Chromium based browser. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just bear in mind that it might be a browser thing. Just to be clear, you want to down, make sure you've got Git downloaded, Node downloaded, and a code editor of choice. I'm going to be using Windsurf in this model, but you could use VS Code, you could use Cursor. There'll be links to everything down in the description. If we go to Bolt DIY's GitHub page, I'll leave, again, I'll leave links to everything down below. If we scroll down, the great thing about this is that you don't need Python, you don't need anything like that, you just need Node. So, of course, they're just advising you to download Node, which hopefully you've already done. And you want to make sure you download download the latest stable version here and download the source code and you want to put it in the location where you do most of your kind of development I put it in my sites folder here so if we CD into that they're using they're using PMPM which is just a you know arguably fast alternative to NPM so we'll do that and then we will PMPM install everything that's in this folder here. If you're not familiar with this, just trust in the process. And then we're gonna run the project. Doing its thing. Click on this or copy and paste the URL. Uh, this has happened before. Um, I've just made sure, there we go. I've just refreshed it, I've just restarted it. And we have Bolt DOI ready to go. What we need to do is actually set some API keys to, for it to use certain models. So my recommendation here is to go to Open Router, and what this does, it gives you access to all of the models that you could ever hope and dream of. If we click um, 2.5 here, you've got Gemini 2.5, they have it all. And I believe, I need to confirm this, but I don't think they have any sort of markup on the price of the models, which is fantastic for us. So we wanna create an API key and I've got one already here. Actually, I'm going to create a new one just for fun. Bolt DIY. Copy that. And if we open up this Bolt project in your code editor. And inside of here, we want to look for this ENV example. And this is going to be for all of your API keys for all of the different models and various things you want to do. Obviously, the most flexible one here is going to be Open Router API key. So if we paste our key there, we want to rename this because just example doesn't get picked up by anything. We want to rename it to .env. Save that file. There. You can also just directly paste that in there and that will just work now. However, let's remove that and let's get it working through the API for the env files. All I'm gonna do is just restart. So cancel that with control C, PNP run dev. Refresh this. This can be a bit glitchy. Um, it's just worth just restarting things just to kick it into gear. Set environment, uh, set via environment variable. And if you make sure that open router here is selected, you can choose any of these models that you want to vibe code with. Lord 4, because they've got that. And I'm not going to do that because it's expensive, but Gemini Pro and build it to do up in React using Tailwind. And we're vibing. Again, make sure you're in Chrome for this or not Firefox. Okay, with a fair amount of debugging, I uh, managed to get this going. Uh, my to-do looks good. Um, yeah, the debugging could be any number of things. It could be the model I used, whatever. The point is, you can vibe code now through OpenAI Router on your local machine using bolt.diy. But that's not why we're here. Now, what I want to do is actually get this running from a local version of an LLM. And just to let you know, I'm running all of this on a MacBook M4 Air. 
But if you go to alama.com, you download Alama. And again, I've got another video on this. But once you download Alama, you've got various models here. And I think, let's go code. Let's see what's. So code Llama. Let's go code Gemma. And I want to download probably the 2 billion model because um, we'll be here forever. Otherwise, I've got Olama running in my terminal window. I'm going to open up a new terminal window. I'm just going to download Olama run Gemma 2B. We'll just let that do its thing. That's going to download that model. And while it's doing that, so when you're inside of Bolt DIY, if we go to the left hand side here, go to your settings with Alama running and local providers, as you see that Alama is already here, it's already picking up some mod model, the models I have installed and you can even download newer models right from in DIY. And because there is an issue with context size and Alama not being big enough to kind of read the whole code base, we want to actually uh, create a file here called make file with a capital M and inside of this, we want to go from, and then we also want to go uh, parameter number context, and this is a nice big number for us. Now this from needs to be something very uh, specific. This needs to be the name of your model, but we're going to make it actually make a copy of that model. So this needs to be the base model here and paste that in there. The name is supposed to be model file, not make file. I don't know why I did that. You can uh, paste this in here and it will do its thing. And what that's done is create a duplicate of CodeGemma with a bigger context uh, window, which we can now use. So just need to restart this back to here. And we should see our new version, which will allow us to have a bigger context window. So build a to-do app inside of React. And it seems to be building it out. Take a look at my GPU usage here. I have no doubt we'll start seeing it peak. Because my RAM is through the roof. So we are pushing the little thing here. You should have better luck if you've got a better computer. But it looks like we actually have something. And here we go. That's looking pretty... Cool, nice, complete it, nice. So whilst Bolt DIY is a really cool tool, it wasn't as smooth as say using it on their servers. I mean, I was even speaking to the founder who recommended using it on their servers, but there might be a, a plethora of reasons why you wanna run it locally using something like Open Router or you wanna use a local LLM. Obviously didn't show you how sluggish my computer got. It was a MacBook Air, as I say, but Obviously, if you've got a stronger machine, you're going to have better results, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But it's great to know the options there. It was a really fun experiment. Ultimately, I think my advice is just to stick with the online versions unless you really, really need to run it locally. Anyway, like, don't forget to double check that subscribe button to make sure you are. Thank you to all my Patreons who support me and thank you for watching until the end. And until next time, keep on vibing.